check it out, it's Trevor James. Today I am in rural Guangdong and we are gonna eat a whole roast pig. Just look at this beauty. I can't believe it. So we just drove out from Guangzhou, two hours. We are now in rural Guangdong and we are gonna have a traditional feast today, whole roast pig. I've heard all about this. I've been looking forward to this for so long. But first, before we have the feast, we have to take the pig to a bunch of different grave sites. The family members are going to pay respect to the deceased. And then we're gonna bring it to the final location. There's gonna be a lot of people there. And we're gonna have a whole roast pig feast. I can't wait. Every year all across China, families gather for the Chinese celebration of Qingmingjie Tomb Sweeping Festival. They go back to their hometowns to honor their ancestors by cleaning and sweeping graves and burning joss sticks and fake money that will ensure their ancestors are living wealthy in the afterlife. They also honor their ancestors by pouring rice wine into the ground, lighting firecrackers, and bringing a lot of food. So when Ting Ting told me about eating a whole roast pig in the countryside, I knew I was definitely in. But what I didn't know was that the pig was a gift for the ancestors in the afterlife and that it was going to be part of observing the Qingmingjie festival. But that was really part of the fun, to learn more about the tradition and to be immersed right in there, especially when they gave us permission to film. A true once in a lifetime experience. This is uh, Guangdong's tradition. We, we come here every year and we call Ta Qing, which means crown the mountains and meet, see them like the older generation, the people already pass away. But my younger generation, I don't. I, maybe last time was 10 years ago. And we will have a Shao Bing and a big whole pig. We will carry the, 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 the whole pig, whole roast pig to hiking the mountain. Like two people have to carry it around a whole day. And, and in the afternoon, the last spot, we will cut them on there on the mountain and then share the pig all together. In the past, everyone would just walk it, but now everyone has cars, so you can put the pig in the back of the car and then just carry it out to the grave and pray there. Honoring the ancestors is done in a few steps. First, candles are lit and the food offerings are placed down in front of the grave. The nicer the better, with a whole pig, a roast goose, rice, flatbread, and fruit being offered. Then, rice wine is poured into cups and the family does a quick prayer, after which the alcohol is poured out into the ground and the food is covered up and packed out. And the firecrackers are hung up on a nearby tree or placed down alongside the grave, and everyone runs away while they explode. Watch this. Ma. Here we go. Watch this. Painfully loud. We do the thing is, uh, respect, uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this tradition. Uh, this tradition. Uh, this tradition is respect to the ancestors. Uh, this is the tradition. Uh, this is the Rahoa so we just got to the next family home. We are in the rural, rural area. This is so cool just to drive through here. We're gonna grab the pig, go for a little hike, and then have a feast. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna carry this in to the forest now. Nice. Oh, like that. Nice work. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. This is incredible. We spent the whole morning bringing this pig around to the different graves. And now we get to eat it. This is insane. It's a whole pig. It's a whole pig in rural China. I can't believe I'm here right now. Are we going up? We're going up. Okay. Okay. We're going steep. After making it to the top of the hill and finding the last burial site, Ting Ting's family did one last prayer before we began to feast. Oh, so we're starting to cut into it. Oh, oh, handle a row, handle a row. Oh, that's beautiful. Just look at that. Oh, fang zai jiga bing ma. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. That, that is so beautiful. Oh, she's Jenny. Oh, look at this. So we've got a bing, like a flatbread covered in sesame, and a huge crispy piece of that pork. Gonna try it out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh, you can tender the bread. The bread is actually quite sticky and sweet, and the pork has this crispy glaze over it. It's actually quite a sweet treat here. It's it's it almost tastes like a dessert. Apart from that amazing crispy whole roast pig, the real secret was the assortment of sticky rice flatbreads to wrap it in. My favorite being the super sweet one, packed with sugar and pork fat and covered in sesame seeds. It's rolled out and stuffed and then put onto a huge circular baking device that can spin and then pushed underneath into a huge hot fire to bake. You'll love these beauties, especially when wrapped over the delicious roast pig. The sweetness of the bing combined with the ultra juicy pork and crispy skin will leave you in heaven. Actually, I think this bread is made from sticky rice and it's covered in sesame and tastes like crystallized sugar. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. This is sweet, ma. Sweet. 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 Like a touch of bean paste on there. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching these food and travel videos. Uh, click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. So everybody's done. We had a little taste of the pig at the gravesite, and now they're taking it back and they're gonna share it amongst the whole family.